Hey guys, so we have the absolute value of four minus three X is equal to X. Absolute value means that whatever's inside here, you need to make it positive. So there are two ways this can be true. If this stuff inside of here is equal to X, or if it's equal to negative x. And that's usually the way you solve these. You split it up. One where you're doing the positive of this thing and one where you're doing the negative of this thing. And now we can just solve each of these independently. Let's add 3x to both sides. So on the left-hand side, we just have four. And on the right-hand side, we have x plus 3x, which is 4x. And after we divide both sides by four, we get one is equal to x. And on the other side, we can add 3x to both sides. Once again, the left-hand side is four, but on the right-hand side, negative x plus three x is two x. And after we divide both sides by two, we get x is equal to two. And now we just gotta check our answers. So for the first one, let's plug in one. And for the second one, let's plug in two. Inside this absolute value, we have four minus three, which is equal to one. The absolute value of one is one, so that checks out. And then inside of this absolute value, we have four minus six, which is negative two. And the absolute value of negative two is two, so that checks out. So these are the answers to this question, x equals one or x equals two. Let's put a box around them. How exciting. And if you guys want to try more of these, I have this page on andymath.com. The link is in the description.